Can you explain some of your agenda items that will be a day one uh, for Jamison Ellis if yeah, elected? Yeah. This is going to be a great segment to really talk about what differentiates me from not only Dan Crenshaw, but the rest of the establishment. Day one, uh, I want to work to enforce the laws that are already on the books. Article 4, Section 4 uh, guarantees every state in this union a Republican form of government and shall protect them, each of them, against invasion. Right. This is directly from the Constitution of the United States, something that is not being enforced. And we briefly touched on this earlier, over eight million illegals that have invaded our southern borders since Biden took office and since Mayorkas was appointed. Right. This invasion intentionally undermines uh, our national security and our sovereignty. And that actually leads into the second thing, day one, that I want to do is, you know, my job as a, as, a, as a federal employee or, an, or a representative of the people, I should say, in the U.S. House, is to limit the government, not expand it. Drafting new bills and legislation expands and grows the government, right? It, it doesn't limit it. You know, and, and the question I like to ask is, why in the hell do we need to uh, create more legislation whenever we can't even follow the laws that are already on the books. And we have a track record of it. Our constitution is soaked in piss right now. Our second amendment rights are vi being violated by every single state in this union. We need people that are going to uh, actually vote down legislation and stand between those bad bills and constituents from day one. I plan on doing that to try to limit the government. And then and only then, once we have that under control, following the laws that are on the books, can we then start looking at creating and writing new legislation? Now let's talk about some legislation that I am very much for, because my stance on this really hasn't changed in two years. And you'll probably find, and this might be kind of boring to some people, I'm probably one of the most consistent people uh, that you'll find. So I've always said, my job is not to create new legislation not, not in 2024, we need to ensure that the laws that are on the books are actually enforced. We need to get back to rule of law because otherwise creating new legislation doesn't matter. Uh, we also need to stand against bad bills. That was the second thing, just as a review, this has been my message for over two years. But let's talk about the third thing. Let's talk about legislation that day one that I do want to start advocating for. First thing I'm going to mention is term limits. Term limits is extremely important. Uh, our government or our founding fathers never intended uh, this role to be a lifetime job, a job for life, right? And, and what we're seeing happening right now, uh, Brian, is we're seeing people that they do well in the job interview and then they go to Congress, but it's like they're given a company credit card and then they just spend it on whatever and don't even think about how it's going to affect us, right? Term limits will fix that. Uh, single subject bills. Uh, we have single subject legislation here in the state of Texas because it shouldn't take, it shouldn't take hours and hours and hours. And there shouldn't be thousands or hundreds of thousands or hundreds or thousands of pages in a damn bill. Uh, we need transparency. Single subject legislation will bring that transparency and accountability back to the Congress, uh, outlawing members of Congress from owning and trading stocks while they're members of Congress. And I think that's pretty self-explanatory. Uh, I, I hear from a lot of constituents that they believe that there's a lot of insider trading going on. Now, I'm not going to accuse anybody of a crime without proof, but I definitely believe that we do need to outlaw members of Congress from owning and trading stocks as long as they hold office. This is the Today with Tally Podcast.